My dear friends, this is uh, Dr. Pandit Salom on behalf of Ruby Consultancy. This video is the impact or influence of uh, new uh, educational policy. Now the 12 standard students, whether they go for humanities, social science or art, whatever means they have a graduation, they will have to undergo entrance examination. It is a mandatory. The questions will be set from the 12th standard. And uh, still, uh, some there are uh, there are some process. How much of mark they will take from the 12th standard, and uh, uh, what will be the entrance examination scoring? The they will appear for uh, the further course of uh, studies. So entrance uh, the test uh, will be held for almost all the graduate, post graduation as well as uh, PhDs. And most of the PhD courses are uh, supported with sufficient finance. Provided the students will have to get through the examinations. Okay. Now I think you know I want to give you a food for thought. That is, I think you know we have to build up our students with a sufficient background. Whether it is a private school or a government school, what uh, the suggestion based on the reality I can uh, put forward to your attention. For a school, we have to teach appointment na poorang abdina. So whether it is a private school or the candidate who is uh, taken as a ad hoc basis or temporary basis they don't go into detail nowadays they don't test their uh, aptitude attitude and again the uh, subject stuff and familiarity and uh, acquaintance on the subjects whether it is humanities or science or whatever the subjects so for example so they recruit a candidate who could be a teacher now M will also scrapped so a uh, post graduation with the BA. Okay. If anybody possesses the research degree, okay, they don't be entertained as per the rules. Okay, they don't entertain. So they recruit teacher who has a limited knowledge. Sometimes they have limited knowledge, but they don't have any exposure. Sometimes they are very good in the subject, but they don't able to train very well. Liking, there is a training or faculty improvement program is required for the teachers to build their efficiency to their skill to teach well to the students. Similarly, I think you know, suddenly you cannot expect a teacher uh, who goes to a class with the sufficient background and again having enough literature, a review of the previous work, and expose a student that is with well provoked thought. They like expect to be able so what is being done? The alternative that is being done, whether it is in Bangalore, Mysore, as well as a Pondicherry, what they have been doing, they don't uh, just have a teacher of the concern of the concerned subjects. They will also invite a scholars, intellectuals of the particular subjects, whether it is online or offline, the people will come and address and they will enlighten their ideas. See, for example, if it is going to be a uh, social science. So they invite a scientist, social scientist. They will give uh, some sessions, say about half an hour or 40 minute sessions on weekly basis, routine uh, kind of uh, pedagogy systems. Followed, uh, the, um, the teachers, um, they, will give, um, they will give a different kind of exposure. For example, when anybody talks about uh, the management, they will start from Peter Trecker and until now, who are the different scholars and what are the different thoughts and what are the different terminologies, what are the different discussions held. Similarly, when anybody touch upon economics, they will start from Adam Smith and uh, they will Milton Friedman and uh, reveal preference A. Paul A. Samuelson. So they will come up to the welfare economics and what the Keynesians and how, how, how Keynesians is different from the other uh, school of thought. So the whole thing will be uh, as a learning source of, through the intellectuals. So what is my final suggestion to the teaching academy is, okay, you can recruit teachers, you can acquisite them, whether it is on a dog basis or the, the school is hiring a MED or BA, okay, but why don't you give up priority for the, I mean, the well-renowned uh, uh, specialized experts, the people are available in the respective subjects, respective field. So those people can be given a kind of a thought to the students so that the students will have a stimulation and inspiration to become a, a specialized person in the particular field. So now when you go to this uh, small class, it's always beautiful where I think you know, there are only seven or eight students and uh, governed by the teacher 
But again, the specialists and the experts give a continuous a different kind of thought. So now I think whether it is offline or online, and the teacher and the students interactive system is very important. So forget about all this uh, correspondence and distant education that is all carrying degree of no use at all, having no purpose at all because they have not heard of any kind of uh, discussions and interactions. That's all. That's all they can do because suddenly or uh, five hours or six hours of who will attend the class uh, very meticulously? It's impossible, virtually impossible. And one day, I think, you know, you cannot complete the entire subjects. It's nothing but a punishment. So the distant education, correspondent education, has no any meaning at all when you want to shine, when you want to adventure us. So now, there are many competitive examinations are going to be held for your post-graduation, graduation, doctorate. And neat examinations, you already got experienced. And you cannot go on attending class after classes, tuitions after tuitions to get through examinations. And uh, strictly UGC has uh, informed that uh, there will be no requirement of uh, coaching classes to get through your graduation in the entrance examinations. Okay, we do agree, but where will you be knowledge? Whether your knowledge, the story of knowledge will have to be gained through what sources? Whether it's a private or public uh, government school, whatever the school. What is the problem inviting uh, I mean the well-renowned uh, intellectuals? In, in case if they are unable to come, you can uh, organize uh, video classes and students let them be interacted. And if possible, if their people are available free, they let them also uh, conduct uh, online offline classes to their level exposure. So what is the background? What is the original? When you talk about the mercantilism gold standard, why it is so? Why the foreign direct reserves is important? Why the national income is fighting for it? And what is the source of uh, mobilizations available in the country? And how do you measure your GDP? And what is your inflation? And what is the rate of interest? And how it has been fixed? There are so much of things to be learned. Our retired people, retired people, knowledge. You can choose, you can assess, you can review their uh, profile and bring them for discussion. So they will forget about all the books, they will forget about the classroom sessions. So they will uh, make the student think out of the box. Then I think that the student, when they are in the doctorate or graduation or post graduation, New educational policy, I think we have to thank that is all most of things are going to be highly little more uh, knowledgeable and professional and uh, kind of uh, technical oriented. And uh, nobody can just uh, tell everybody that is no, I have got a degree, I don't know any, any skills. Now the skill is, skill is inbuilt. But the skills of any type, but the skill is a creative publications or uh, journal or whatever it is, it will also be you know going along with your stream. So that is the world we are going to live in. I want a student request their institution, colleges or schools, wherever, whether it is a mathematics, science, political science, social science, whatever the field, any area of the field. Bring the thought, bring the knowledge that has been already exposed by the intellectuals into reality. So that I think the present younger generation will make use of their scale of knowledge. And one day I think now you will see that how the students are so much bright enough. So that has been tested, that has been proven. When it just happened to visit the international school in Puducherry, then they have met everybody. There is a knowledge that is called graduation. And after the knowledge they can fly, but they cannot fly as they like. They have to come back, whether in terms of solar energy or whether it is going to be a kind of a communal kind of way of our communal linked projects, something will be exploited by them that will be used, enjoyed by the community. So I expect the institution runners as well as the students of all ranks could request, could participate in your joint meeting, a request for intellectuals available in the respective subjects, whether it is going to be a science, humanities or uh, mathematics, whatever the subject. 
so the intellectual knowledge is uh, available plenty will have to be skill synchronized mobilized and make it is a fruitful purpose for which we are looking for thanks for listening mega attempt